What's going on guys? Welcome back to Trafish Aquatics. Today we're going to be building an aquarium lid specifically for axolotls. Now the difference between regular aquarium fish, basically tropical aquarium fish, and axolotls is axolotls are cool water fish, so they want water lower than 70 degrees. And I know a lot of times for us as hobbyists, it gets a lot warmer than 70 degrees in our house in the summertime. So we want to make sure that we're keeping our axolotls cool. And one of the ways that I do it a lot is by evaporative cooling. So basically you can take a fan, blow it across the surface of your aquarium water, and it will evaporate and cool the tank down naturally without the use of a chiller. Now it will only drop at a couple of degrees, but in most cases that's enough to keep our axolotl buddies healthy and happy. So what I'm going to be doing today is I have a piece of polycarbonate. We're going to be cutting it out to fit an aquarium lid and we're going to be installing fans on there so that we can have it turn on and off automatically with a thermostatic controller to make sure that we can keep our axolotl water below 70 degrees. So come with me and watch me build. Alright guys, so we've got our aquarium here. This is a 40 breeder and we're going to be making the plastic lid for it. So the first thing that we have to do is we're going to have to cut our plastic because as you can see, it is much larger than our aquarium. So to do this, it's not very hard to do. Essentially, all we have to do is measure the inside of the uh, top frame of the aquarium, transfer those markings onto our plastic, cut it out, and it should fit. So I'll show you where we have to measure it from. When you're measuring the aquarium lid, you wanna measure from the inside here to get your length. So we're basically gonna have 34 and 7 eighths by 16 and 13 sixteenths. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna transfer those dimensions onto our plastic, get our lines drawn, and we'll take it out in the garage and I'll show you how to cut it. Alright, so we have our lines drawn as you guys just saw me do. Uh, you can see it on the plastic here, I've got our lines. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set it into the aquarium and look down the lines to make sure that they line up and as long as I cut them straight that the lid will fit in the aquarium. So this one looks like the line is just a hair over so I'm going to cut on the outside of the line and I made a note to myself here for that so I don't forget. And this one here looks pretty good, so I'm just going to cut right on the line with that one. I left a note there for me as well. And this lid is going to fit really well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out, and then I'm also going to use a one-inch paddle bit and drill a hole right here so that I can feed. I actually might, instead of drilling one hole here, I may drill two, one here and one here. Um, that way, depending on what side of the tank the axolotl's on, I can feed here or here to get the food in front of him rather than him trying to hunt for it because axolotls are not the best hunters. Um, they are extinct in the wild, so there's that. So one thing I am going to do is once I get this cut out, I am going to be installing fans. So once we get this cut out, I will show you guys that. Alright guys, so I'm going to be cutting this using a trim saw. Uh, this blade that's on here is a very, very fine tooth blade. As you can see here, made for cutting through thin wood plastics, PVC, things like that. Um, you can use a blade that has much larger teeth on it, but you have to cut very slow. Otherwise, it could catch, bind, and break your plastic. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to cut this out. We're going to get the hole drilled in it. We'll take it inside, do a fitment check, and we'll continue from there. So here goes with the cutting.
Okay, so here is our lid. I'm gonna run inside real quick, do a fitment check, make sure the corners are square and everything like that. And then we will come back out, drill either one or two holes in here. I'm not 100% sure yet what I wanna do. And then I will take it back inside and show you guys what I wanna do with the fans. So let me go check it real quick. All right guys, so the fitment on the tank is good. So let's go inside. I'll show you what we wanna do with the fans and then we'll come back out, make our final cuts and get this lid installed. So let's go inside. All right, so as you guys can see, the lid fitment is pretty good. Um, dropped right in place, no complaints there. Fits fairly well, there is a little bit of movement in there, but that's okay. Um, we don't want it super tight. So as you can see, I have these black objects here. These are fans. Now, these are 120 millimeter uh, 120 volt computer fans. So what does that mean? That means instead of wiring directly into a motherboard on a computer, these actually run off 120, which means that you can plug them directly into your wall. And they move quite a bit of air, but they don't blow super hard, right? So what I'm going to do with these is they're going to be getting mounted right into the plastic and one of them is going to be blowing air into the tank while the other one is going to be exhausting air out of the tank so that the air gets blown in, comes across the surface, and then out. So what this is going to do is it's going to help with the evaporative cooling and keep the temperature of the water down. Now the way I'm going to regulate this is I don't have it with me yet but it will be here in a day or two, is a thermostatic controller. Um, I'll be able to set it to turn these fans on when the tank reaches a certain temperature and then turn back off once the temperature drops low enough to where the fans don't have to be running. Um, and that's gonna help regulate the temperature of the aquarium and keep our axolotls nice and cool. So what we're gonna do now is I've gone ahead and I've traced out the outer dimensions of these, but there are some screw holes on this so I'm gonna to have to make a smaller square inside of these, and then we're gonna go out and we're gonna cut out that smaller square, drill the holes in the corners for our screws, and mount our fans. So what I'm doing here is I have taken and drawn markings on the plastic right here on the fan, and then I'm going to be cutting across that. So that way I leave enough material that I can actually have the screws mount to the plastic. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the lines here real quick so you guys can see what it looks like. And then I will give you a better look so that you can see what I'm talking about. These outer corners will not be cut out, so I can actually erase those. That will be the shape that gets cut out and the screws will get mounted on the corners like that. That way we can provide plenty of airflow in and out. All right guys, so we're out in the garage again and we're going to be cutting out our holes for our fans. And how I'm gonna do that is we are going to take the one inch paddle bit and we're gonna drill a hole as close to one of these corners as we can and then we're just going to take my saw, which I'm not going to use my circular saw. I am going to be using a jigsaw. And we're going to go very slowly, very carefully around. And by doing that, we're hopefully not going to crack it and cut these out in a fashion where it's going to be nice and clean and hopefully look really good. So. What I'm actually thinking I'm gonna do instead of just drilling one hole, I might actually take the drill and drill out four holes. That way I just have to make straight lines and make it as easy as possible so that we do not crack this plastic because it's not super strong, especially when getting hit with a blade moving very fast like that. So we'll go ahead and I'm gonna time lapse this. So here we go.
All right, so there's one hole. So I'm gonna do the other one off camera, that way you guys don't have to sit here and watch it um, for the sake of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that one out and we'll go back inside. All right guys, so the next thing we're gonna do is I've gone ahead and I've marked out the uh, screw holes on the fans. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna drill the four holes and then we're gonna get our fans mounted. So drilling the holes is simple, just a little drill bit, get it on the hole. drill our hole very easy so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna go through and drill all four on this one all four on that one and we'll get the fans mounted and I'll show you what it looks like all right guys so all the holes are drilled so now comes my favorite part probably can't even see it. Nice clear plastic. But there's our lid. We can get our fans on here. Now these fans do have directional flow. So I'm gonna have this fan on the left blowing in. And this fan on the right blowing up. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to mount up the hardware. Screws are going to go from the inside out, that way any excess is pointing up out of the top. And once it's through and attached and everything, I'll either find shorter screws or just cut off the excess screw that's on there. And that'll be it. We'll have our fans installed. The cords will come off the back and over the black background here so you won't see them at all. And it'll keep everybody nice and cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and install them and then I'll come back show you guys how they work. And then in the next video, we're gonna get this tank set up. So let me get them installed. So for the sake of showing you how it works, I'm going to turn them on. I did put the lid on backwards. These fans are currently sitting on the front of the aquarium, where when they're actually running are going to be on the back. So the lid's just backwards as you see it right now. Um, and what's going to happen is both of these plugs are going to be hooked up to a thermostatic controller that's going to turn them on and off based on water temperature. But I don't have that at the moment, and the tank's not set up, so it wouldn't work anyway. So I'm just gonna plug them in to show you guys how these fans work, and then I'll grab the camera and show you guys the fans and how everything is supposed to function. So let's plug them in. And I'll grab the camera. All right, so I don't know how audio is, but you might be able to hear these. This fan is spinning, and this fan is spinning. But, let's see if I can show you this, this fan is blowing out and this fan is blowing in so that fan is going to blow air into the aquarium it's going to get sucked across this one's going to uh, push it out of the aquarium keeping good flow of air so that evaporative cooling can be done as quickly and as efficiently as possible all right guys, that is pretty much gonna be it for this video. That is the build on the Axolotl Aquarium Lid or the Cooling Aquarium Lid. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed watching the build. I hope you learned something and I hope that this really helps some of you guys out because I know a lot of people struggle with keeping their axolotls cool. But if you guys enjoyed this build and enjoyed watching me put this whole thing together, go ahead and drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. If you want to do this project yourself, I will leave a link to these fans in the description down below. So thank you guys for watching Trapfish Aquatics. As always, all other links in the description, and I will see you guys in the next video.